Hi folks, welcome back to Camp Life. My name is Lisa and we're building a custom home. And this week on our journey, uh, we've had a lot of work done inside on the sheetrock and I'll show you that as well as some interesting trenches like the one you see uh, right here. So I'll explain more about what's going on with those, but it does involve both propane and electricity. So let's get started. I'm up in the master suite, taking a look at what the guys got accomplished so far today. It's just been maybe four hours of work and they got a lot of this sheet rocked tape. You see the tape and a skim coat of the mud goes on top. Good. I am. How many coats do you end up doing? Well, depends on how you count. This is what we call yeah. it, our tape coat, but it, I guess it's first coat. Then yeah. we, do, we go over it again, that's a double coat. Then we go over it again, which is what we call a flush coat, but it's a third coat. Then we come back again and skim out all of what we call the butt joints. These are butt joints because the sheet rock butts together. These are seams, they get it. One, two, three. three. These get it four. Oh, okay. And then, and then we sand it and prime it. And yeah. And all the nails you have to we go. We do those twice. Yep. Forget those. We, we fill those in where we're at with our coat to just get. You know, those seem like they'd be the time-consuming part. Is every little nail they're head. Just, they're, they're, they're literally. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty fast. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have to have the wrist movement. <laughs> yeah. We don't use this mud, so I'm not going to Oh, okay. It. No, sorry. You it's don't have to mud. demo. But... Yeah. Just a, demo. <laughs> a quick demo. That's kind of a cool thing with tape and your mud yeah. all in one tool. I made another one with the bazooka or the tube. It's a little faster. Mm -hmm. And it's a whole more mud. It goes on a pump, pump it full. Mm. Um, to break down. So oh. I've seen a lot of breakdown over time. Uh, but with just two guys, it's easier to this almost. You just come and just have to keep refilling it a yeah. little bit, but... Well, you have to get out run a couple of guys with the tube, so it's a lot of stuff to oh. stop with this. At least you can keep it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. That makes sense.
we're at the end of day two of the tape and mudding stage of our sheetrock. And the guys just left. They turned on a whole bunch of fans, so it's a little loud. Um, but they look like they got everything taped. So let me show you. So I'm in the living area, our great room. And you can see all the taped lines on the wall and the ceiling kind of pan up. See, they masked off a few things so they don't get overly muddy. One thing I wanted to point out is we're doing some rounded edges. Sorry, the fans are kind of loud, so I'm yelling. Um, <laughs> so you can see here down this edge from the loft um, over the kitchen area is a rounded edge. I think it just makes it look kind of soft and will have a nice effect. Another place where that's visible is all these outside corners will be the rounded. And here, if I step back, you'll see this archway. There, there's not going to be a door here. It's just an open entry transition. I think that's just a nice rounded treatment. And the one thing you'll notice, let's see if I come around this way, um, is that it's rounded down to a certain point. So there's a piece at the very bottom that'll insert that is squared off. And this squared off piece, the advantage there is you can do a molding and not have to try and figure out how to do a cut that's going to look right <laughs> around uh, a rounded corner. So this will make it easy to do those baseboard moldings and it'll look really sharp and there'll just be a little bit of a straight edge between the top of the molding or baseboard molding and where the rounding starts. I've seen it finished at a, a home that we looked at. Um, it looks really nice. Here we are at our power pedestal, uh, which is close to the trailer and our shed that we've been camping at. And this is the trench they've dug this morning to hook up the power to the house. See, it kind of goes along the driveway and then goes up to that corner of the house. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm up at the house, the corner of the house in the front where the power is coming into the house. The electrician was here and got it all set up. We were just without power in the trailer for a brief time while they made the final connection. So here you see the trench kind of has a bit of a drop off. Let me see if I carefully go down here. <laughs> you can kind of see the path that it takes and turns the corner and down there you see our uh, electric pedestal just in front of the trailer. You also saw today where we had the second trench dug from the other side of the house. Um, this is the east side um, for our propane. So nothing in this trench yet. Um, so hopefully we see the propane guys here soon and they will lay that down and they'll be putting our propane tank somewhere over, obviously between the end of the trench there <laughs> and the uh, porta potty that's currently there for the construction crews. So here is our new rented <laughs> propane tank. Uh, it's 500 gallons. And you can see they got it hooked up and the line in the hole here, the trench that was dug out yesterday. And it runs over to the corner of the house. If you've been watching for a while and you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And also give me a thumbs up. And leave me a comment. Let me know when do you think our house is going to be done? Right now we're the end of the first week in August and we really want to get out of our trailer life uh, before the next winter. Um, but what's your guess? How many weeks do you think it's going to be? Four weeks? Or six weeks or eight weeks or 12 weeks what's your guess tell me below we're back with the fans inside where our sheetrock guys have done a lot more today you can see on the walls I don't know if this is the second or third coat of mud or you know whatever the proper term is over the taped joints um, and then I would say at least a nice thin coat over all of the nail heads and you can tell the difference here we're in the bedroom on the main floor you can tell that this part is a more of a yellow it's not dry yet so probably a little thicker there or put on more recently than some of these other locations this is a pretty exciting sight to see there's actual power in our house so after the electrician got things hooked up in the trench and got it connected to our power pedestal, they're now able to plug these fans in to a couple plugins. Uh, for now, they just did the ones in the bathrooms, I believe. So the, all the construction crews can now utilize some power and not have to run really super long extension cords.
I was thinking about it. There you go. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're here till I retire, sir. Oh! Oh, oh no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I'll either have retired or died. <laughs> so. You're gonna <laughs> think your son's gonna keep you on the job until <laughs> that happens, Who's that baby. Who's over know. there? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can come with me. I hate when the urn. He's doing a long run. How many layers are we on now? This is the third. 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 Yep. One more to go. Okay. We should finish your mud work on Monday. Awesome. And then the sand time. Oh, then it's time to sand. Yeah. Sand time the texture after that. There's quite a few steps, isn't there? Yes. So hopefully your son's here by then we can teach him how. Uh, <laughs> I don't foresee that, but... <laughs> so you can reach way up high. We have more excitement coming next week. Should be painting the exterior of the house. So that's really gonna be exciting to see the finished colors. And really, you know, although the landscaping won't be done, um, the outside of the house will look finished. And then we'll just keep going and concentrating on the stuff inside the house. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another week.